So in this question we are going to start off by adding some more information to the diagram. I'm told about a mass of 2.7 kilograms so the first thing I'm going to do is just to add on that information. Then we've got some more information in here um, about a force that's acting in the vertical plane and the particle is in equilibrium on the point of sliding down the plane. Now if it's on the point of sliding down the plane that tells me that there must be friction acting up the plane and more than that if it's on the point of sliding down the plane I know that the value that that friction will take will be the maximum possible frictional value F max. While we're at it I think it's also a good idea to use this point to also decompose the forces that I already have so the force here I'm going to break down into a force that's perpendicular to the plane and a force that's parallel to the plane so that would be 15 sine 50 and in here 15 cosine 50 and likewise thinking about the the weight of the particle I'm also going to break that down into a force that's acting here which is going to be 2.7 uh, cosine of 40 and the force that's acting down this direction which is going to be 2.7 uh, sine of 40 oops and I'm missing my G's in here so let's make sure that they get put in as well now that my diagrams fully labeled I'm in a much better position to be able to answer these questions so for the first part I want to be able to find the normal reaction force so let's also make sure that that's labeled so I haven't got that one labeled so there we go there's R my normal reaction force now if I want to find the magnitude of the normal reaction then all I need to do is to look to resolve perpendicular to my plane so let's make a point of doing that resolve perpendicular now if I do that all the forces that are up which is R will be equal to all my forces that are acting down which are going to be my 15 sine 50 and my 2.7 g cos 40 so that's 15 sine 50 plus 2.7 g uh, sine 40 cosine 40 now if I pop these into my calculator I am reliably informed that the answer comes out to be uh, 31.8 newtons so there's my start for the next part of this question I'm then on to working out the coefficient of friction between P and the plane and now that I've resolved perpendicular to the plane the next thing that we're going to want to do is to resolve parallel to the plane and it's also worth noting that we will get a mark in the exam for sheerly writing out F max is equal to mu times R um, which is something that we're going to have to use in this part of our question so let's go back and have a look so we want all the forces that are acting up the plane that's F max must be equal to all the forces oh and the other force that's acting up the plane which is going to be 15 cos 50 because this force here the 15 is pushing in and up the plane so I've got F max plus 15 cos 50 must be equal to 2.7 g sine 40 so F max plus 15 uh, where we cosine 50 must be equal to 2.7 g sine 50 and I know F max is equal to mu multiplied by R and that's going to be equal to 2.7 G sine 50 minus 15 cos 50 and I can use my value of R from the first part of this question um, which was well using the exact value 15 sine 50 so let's go for 2.7 G sine 50 minus 15 cos 50 all divided by my exact value which was 15 sine 50 plus 2.7 g 
cos 40. And again, popping that onto my calculator is going to give me a value here of 0.232. For the final part of this question, I'm going to remove the force of 15 and determine whether or not P moves, and I must justify my answer. So let's go all the way back to the top for one last time and think about what happens if we remove this force here. Well, quite a lot's going to change because it's also going to remove this force, which means my value for R will change, and it's also going to remove this force. So all I'm left with is a new value for R, um, which in this case R will be equal to 2.7 g cos 40 and I'm going to need to look at what the maximum value friction could take would be so thinking about F max which would be equal to mu times by R that would be 0 0.232 as we got from our part B times by this 2.7 g cos 40. Now if I work that out that comes out to be something around the sort of 4.7 mark so somewhere around 4.7 newtons so the maximum value friction can take is 4.7 newtons well what part of the weight is acting down the plane let's just analyze this 2.7 g sine 40 and if I find a value for that it comes out to be just about 17 newtons bang on. So what's going to happen? Well the maximum frictional force is 4.7 newtons and the weight that's acting down the plane is 17 newtons. So clearly we're going to be in a situation where the weight acting down the plane is greater than the maximum frictional force so the particle will move down the plane. So what I'm going to need to state here is that 17 is greater than 4.7 so particle will move down the plane. And that now is the end of the exam.